Hey, downtimers. Let's talk about projectors. Well, tabletop gaming with my kids started with a projector. They've always enjoyed video games, so a digital and cartoonish representation of a world full of adventure immediately appealed to them. And while I really enjoy both terrain made from crafting and the digital version, I have to admit there are a lot of advantages in using projection. First and foremost is how it all started for us. I use a projector in our home theater for everything from movies to console video games and also for tabletop gaming needs anywhere I had a table large enough for a sheet of poster board and all the gaming accessories needed for my players. That's the first thing I noticed about the projector. It's incredibly versatile, especially if you get a good adjustable stand for it. I use a really durable stand by Stellar Labs that's been great since I bought it about five years ago. Oh, and the projector I'm talking about is an ancient one. You don't need to spend thousands on an awesome projector unless you really want to step up the definition. The 1080p projector in the hundreds works quite well. Thanks to Santa bringing a new projector to the home theater, our old Optima DLP is now our dedicated tabletop gaming projector. It's about 10 years old and the fan is noisy, but it's been a great projector, especially considering everything we've used it for, including an outdoor home theater. Now that we have this projector at our gaming disposal, I can experiment and see all that's possible. The only thing I didn't like about using it for both a home theater and tabletop gaming was the fact that it had to be set up every time we wanted a game and then set back up for the theater. I got it down to a science, but it still took anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes round trip, which doesn't sound like much, but it got a little old after gaming for years like that. Also, it being in the theater meant I really couldn't experiment a whole lot for what all was possible with it for our game. So while I definitely recommend getting a projector if you don't already own one, keep in mind you'll have to do some adjusting if you plan on using it for your tabletop game too. So you will not want to mount it on the ceiling as you'll want the versatility of a stand, or you might make a tabletop stand that will allow the projector to be perfectly perpendicular to the table. Also, unless you plan on making such a stand, you'll want a projector that has the keystone feature. This will allow for easier positioning when you can't get the perfect 90 degree angle. The current setup I use gives me a throw distance of about five feet, which can give me up to a 42 inch screen with the old Optima. The distance between the ceiling and table will limit the throw distance if you project indoors. We do have a room with a higher ceiling, so we can get bigger with the digital battle map if we feel the need. We really enjoy gaming with miniatures and terrain accessories, so we'd rather have a smaller screen and be able to use our figures and such. But if you really want to go big with your digital terrain, you can use tokens and go vertical by simply projecting to a large screen or even just a white wall. The bigger you go with the projected image, the more detail you'll lose. But if you have a 4K projector, you can game on a 144 inch screen and still have great detail. One thing I really enjoy is checking out all the online resources for this setup. RPG maps are all over the internet. Most of them are free. I've had hours of fun downloading tons of digital terrain for just about any situation I could ever imagine for our game. I now have more maps for projection than I could possibly use over the next few years, and I've already gotten a few techniques down for displaying digital terrain using various programs and even video games. All these resources really open up a whole new digital world ready for you and your players to enjoy. I'll cover more about these resources soon. If you have a projector that you've been using for your tabletop game, please comment to let me know how this technology has worked for you. Also, if you have a question about this topic, please put it in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We're getting close to 300 subscribers. Please like if you've enjoyed this video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope 2019 brings great things for you and yours. Happy New Year.